Hey Jacko, last time I showed you the shape polygon node, but in today's video I'll show you the extrude and bevel node, which is also a new tool in the fusion page in DaVinci Resolve 18.6. Now let's get digital. So once you have a shape, shift space, type in let's see bevel, so we have extrude 3D. Now if I hover over the inputs, the green one is the material, so this could be a background node. Then we have the shape input, and this one is the bevel material input. So if you have the shape done like this, you can't use this input from the render node, you have to use this one. Let's display it. So it's black because the background is black. Now this is a 3D space and we need an output. So we'll render this out. So now we see it in the output, we may also need to use a camera and some lighting to see the differences. In this node, we can now adjust the depth. We see something happening, but not a lot. We also have the subdivisions, bevel depth and bevel width. So we do need to use a camera and some lighting so we actually see the changes. So let's add the merge node, add the camera, Maybe add ambience, so ambient lighting. And in the render node, we need to disable the lighting and the shadows. Why we don't see anything is because the camera is inside this object. So select the camera and move it. I think this will be good enough. Let's go to the ambience, increase the intensity. And what I'll also add is a spotlight. So now we can actually see everything. Now I'll just move it around. And now in the extrude node, let's go over the options. So the extrusion depth, this is self-explanatory and you can also see what it does. Then we have the extrusion subdivisions. It's not visible, but it should add extra layers or subdivide them. So the wireframe increases. Let's see, we should have the option here. We just need to enable it. So we have the wireframe option. Let's go back to the extrude and see how this changes. And as you can see, it does. So the extrusion subdivision does increase the number of wireframes. And in this case, it increases it in depth. You could also type in a value here 20, we have more subdivisions. I'll just disable the wireframe. Let's go over the other options. Now we have the bevel. If you just move the depth or the width, nothing will happen. You have to move both of them. Let's maybe make it like this and you have the smooth angle. Now the smoothing angle will smooth the bevels depending on the value of the angle. And you also have the bevel front and bevel back. Now if you just look at this head-on, you may not notice any difference, but if we look at it from the side, we'll see some difference, but it doesn't make any difference if we look at it from the front. So you should disable this option if you want to speed things up. Now in the material section, we have the diffuse option, for the opacity, we have the specular lighting, and this is affected by the spotlight, as you can see. And that's it for the extrude 3D node. If you found the video helpful, you know what to do. I'm Simon, and until next time, Jackals, keep it digital.